Okay, I just made the coolest video wandering around this um, pond behind this old mill we used to go to on school trips um, when I was a kid. Um, it was all about advanced witchcraft and I went on for about 20 minutes and I even impressed myself with the crap I was coming out with. Two minutes, two, three minutes before I was going to finish the video, the battery on my phone completely went flat. And I had some lovely like pictures, well videos and filming and nice little places around by the mill and that sort of thing and I was pointing things out and that and then what happens? The battery goes. So now I'm back in the van and I am charging my phone up so I'm going to try and remember all of the crap I just said. Um, I'm not going to be able to so this video is going to be worse than the one you could have had but read into that what you will. Um, so advanced witchcraft is one of those things where is people's opinions at the end of the day. What I'd consider to be advanced and what someone else would be considered, you know, advanced is two different things. You know, if you get a hundred practitioners, witches, magicians, whatever in a room and say, what's advanced magic? They're all going to say something completely different. Probably a lot of them will argue, argue as well. Um, so I like to think of things and I'm told by many people that I have a very harsh opinion when it comes to things like this. So I think of foundational, intermediate, and then advanced. So a tradition, whether it's a magical tradition, whether it's, a, you know, initiation into a secret society, even religions to a certain extent, they should give you a foundation in magic. And a foundation in magic is you should be given the tools and taught a system that means that you should be able to accomplish or know how to accomplish anything. So anything you set your mind to, magically speaking, even if you haven't done it, you, the system tradition should have taught you the basics to the point where you don't need another practitioner, a person, to tell you how to do it. So... You know, a lot of people think the the basics is stuff like, you know, using tarot cards or gazing into the future or, you know, what do the elements do, all that sort of crap. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, you know. But really a foundation is wh where you are at where you don't need anyone else anymore. You have the foundation. You don't need someone else to tell you how to do something. You know what you need to do going forwards. Now, the way that you think about trying to accomplish something, you might not know it will work, but you know the basics enough to not have to ask a practitioner. The problem arises when you get a lot of traditions, and I'd say there are 90, probably even 99% of traditions and that out there don't even give you that. You know, so many people I've met that have uh, been initiated into a tradition or they've gone on a course or something like that on Reiki healing and they can't even do something super simple. So there are a lot of traditions, uh, systems out there, books that don't give you a, a, a foundation. Um... At the end of the day, if it's a... I mean, no tradition or system of magic is perfect. There's always room for improvement. But it should at least get you to the stage where you can stand on your own two feet. A foundation in martial arts would be the equivalent of a black belt. When you get to a black belt, you have a foundation. You aren't advanced. And you're not intermediate. You are at the foundation where you have kind of understand... Um, the philosophies, the actions, the moves, you know, and it's a case of perfecting things then and then adding other things. So people that run and put together traditions, they should be at the very least foundational level. You would hope that they'd be an intermediate level. So intermediate level would be when you're pushing the boundaries of what the majority of people do or what the majority of people can do or the tradition in which you're trained in if it's a decent tradition not just some crap um you're kind of the the person or the people 
who are evolving that tradition. You're the person that's adding to that tradition. You're finding out where that tradition or your system of magic is weak and what you haven't thought about. You know, you're pushing the boundary essentially of what's possible. Um, you know, not that many, if you think about it, not that many people fall into that category, you know. Um, advanced is literally you're doing things that have never been done before. You know, so intermediate, you're going down, you know, rabbit holes or venturing to places that very few people go to. Advanced is literally territory where it's probably never been done before. You're the first person um, that's probably done it. There is no... In intermediate level things, you would think, well, there might be a couple of people that have attempted to do it. And it, some people might be somewhat successful. Some people might be incredibly successful. But it's not one of those things that you're going to likely to ever find someone that's ever achieved what you're setting out to achieve. Advanced, there isn't anyone that's done it. Certainly no one that you, that's alive anyway. <laughs> you know, you're not going to find anyone that has done something that hasn't been done before. I mean, we can talk about, you know, spirits and gazing into the future and all that sort of stuff but if you're if you're putting this in a basic context and for a basic video then you know so in terms of what you'd consider to be foundational magic things like anything that's really a requirement for you to stand on your own two feet anything from dealing with spirits to understanding how reincarnation works to um exorcism, defensive magic, uh, healing magic, pretty much everything that people consider to be, you know, magic, you need to know a little bit about. Because otherwise, if you don't have those tools in your arsenal, how are you supposed to venture down a path that hasn't really been tread before? So when you get into intermediate magic, like I kind of said, is that you're pushing the boundaries of what the majority of people or your tradition that you're in, your system of magic, thinks is possible. Now, I know that it's difficult because if you talk about traditions of magic, they're all so different. So you'll get, and I hate to pick on Reiki, but they get in so many people that say, Mas, I'm a master Reiki practitioner, they get into so much trouble, it's unbelievable. I spend a lot of time dealing with people like that. So if you, have, if you have someone that's learnt a system of magic like Reiki and then they can't even cope with um, a simple healing, uh, you know, piece of magic or they can't def cope with defensive magic or something like that, as far as I'm concerned, they don't even have a foundation. Their system is so crap that they don't even have a foundation in magic. When I'm talking about people that have a foundation in magic, I'm talking about the real hardcore practitioners out there. And, you know, I don't think of a foundation as something to be laughed at, or it's not something that, you know, a lot of people even would necessarily have. Um, I've met a, a fair amount of people just because I know so many people that are practitioners that I'd consider to have a foundation level of magic. but. You know, most people think that a foundation level of magic would be like reading a Buckland's book or initiating into third degree Wicca when perhaps you may just get there. But it certainly doesn't even factor into a something advanced because, again, you're not pushing the realms of what's possible. You know, in order to push the realms of what's possible and venture down, you know paths and things that haven't been done before and people consider to be impossible, you know, um, you'd need that foundation. So if you think about advanced magic again, how deep, how much deeper that, that is, you know, um, so people ask occasionally, where are the advanced books on magic or where are the advanced books on witchcraft? If you think that Agrippa's massive tome or the uh, Kabbalion or something like that is advanced magic. No, it's not. It may, may be foundational. It's probably a part of a foundational system. It certainly isn't intermediate and it certainly isn't advanced, you know, because there's things in that 
system which you know they there's there are things that you should be able to do after you have a foundation that you wouldn't be taught from that system if that makes sense so the closest thing to a book that i could recommend on advanced magic would be an empty book and you channel that book and work through it i've um i've stumbled across a couple of practitioners that that works quite well for so people that say do have a foundation in magic and you know they they know their crap basically um but they may struggle on certain things or they're trying to accomplish something that you know you just can't have conversations with people about because they just would think what the hell are you talking about i don't even think that that's possible or you know you're crazy or whatever if they're trying to work through something or accomplish something or get evolved to a level magically um that some may consider to be impossible then at that point you know you're not working with people you're not working with humans you'd be working with deities and stuff like that might help um so if they're looking for a book on that, I know a couple of people, both in the past and uh, currently even, who have attempted to, in order to get past or through an intermediate stage, channel a book, where that book comes from. <laughs> you know, there would be an entire video in itself, but imagine if you have a goal that you're trying to achieve and you are a magic practitioner and you know there are you've mastered pretty much everything that you know you know that someone can teach you and then you want to exceed that and go to another level the only thing that you're going to be able to do is to to contact something which will be able to help you with that and the chances are they're not going to tell you they're going to mentor you so people have attempted, I know, I've done this a couple of times as well, so I know that it works quite well, is attempted to channel, um, if you don't know what channeling is, then you don't have a foundation of magic, <laughs> uh, attempt to channel a grimoire or a book that they would then work through. So even though they technically wrote it with their hand and have channeled it, it doesn't even necessarily make sense to them. So they have to work through it um in order to get through it's kind of their guide um when it comes to things like intermediate and advanced magic you're being led by other things shall we say um or you're doing you're doing like quests and things like that i think that's probably the best way to describe it is rather than rather than attempting to learn a technique um, or understand how something works, what you're generally doing is you have partnered up with or you're embarking on some kind of magical quest that you've put together to really test you um, and to test the, the boundaries of, you know, what you're able to do, your paradigm that you exist or you know, what happens in your mind as to what you think is possible and how the universe works. If you can partner up with something that will create a little quest journey for you to go through and i've done one i'm in the middle of one at the moment um that will help you get or evolve further um or get a new ability you know teach you a new ability or something like that or a new you know um it just expand your system of magic so again i'm rambling now so foundation level you can stand on your own two feet black belt in martial arts um, intermediate level, you're pushing the boundaries over what people believe is possible and certainly you're pushing beyond the tradition that you're taught. Um, and then advanced would be you're probably doing something that's never been done before and never even achieved, you know, well, whether it's never been done before, people might have attempted to do it, but they probably haven't succeeded. So, you know, I don't know what your thoughts are. You know, I know that that may seem somewhat harsh for people, but what I don't want people thinking is that if you read books, <laughs> pretty much any book, I don't think I've ever seen a book which would even give you a foundation in magic. Um, perhaps if you tried loads of different systems and cobbled something together or you had some really good practitioners help you create a system of magic in your head and teach that to you. Um, 
I don't know if that makes sense, but it does in my head. Um, then you might get a foundation from that, but you know, you're not going to be finding any 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 books which teach you a full foundation because they're always going to be incomplete, and they're not certainly got not going to teach you anything intermediate or on an advanced level. So you know, what I'd say is, I think that is always a good idea and I always strive to push myself further and further and I think that it's a shame and a lot of people do tend to give up and think well I'm happy with what I've achieved um you know I'm happy with my knowledge base I just love to see people push themselves further and further and further and further um and not limit you know their beliefs not limit themselves but I don't know, put your thoughts down in the comments below, but as far as I'm aware, the closest thing to a book on advanced magic, at least, would be an empty book that you would have to channel, or it would be something that you'd have to work through. And even then, if you did channel said book, you wouldn't understand it, because that's the point, you're going to have to work through it. It'd be like a mini quest. So, there we go. Rant over.